Yo, so what is going on guys? It is your boy Squid here and welcome to another Zombies Challenge in my Summer of Zombies Challenges Massacre Marathon Primed and if you guys have been on the channel for the last almost week at this point, basically a week, um, ever since the Spaceland video, I skipped a day in between the Ancient Evil, which was a great video, and then the Spaceland, I skipped a day in between those videos, failed Spaceland, beat Rave, didn't even have Xbox Live, so I had to play Fortnite the next day. Um, so that was technically I didn't fail that challenge because it wasn't I didn't even do a challenge. The next day though was one of the worst vids of the summer, Dead of the Night Easter Egg attempt. Garbage, garbage video. Archon two days ago was a good attempt for my first time trying it, but I died in the boss fight because it deleted me, insta killed me, even though I was at full health, I'm pretty sure twice. And then yesterday was the Shadows of Evil box roulette challenge, okay. That's why you see BO3 on the screen, of course. And I finally, I can't believe it, I finally beat a challenge, guys. Finally beat it. Now, the question is, is it going to be a one-day win streak and then back to failure? Or is it going to be an actual streak that's going to start today? We're going to see, starting earlier today, because I had the day off, so... Let's see how this goes, guys. Let's see how this goes. Plus, I wanted to stream because I literally have less than 12 hours to get all my cursed sales quests done in Fortnite. Otherwise, I won't get the chance again. So let's spin the wheel. And I don't want it to be too long of a stream today. I'm definitely not going to be able to do a high round today. It's just way too stressful. And it gives me a two box on Buried, which would be... You know what, dude? That would actually be a really good one to do today. I can't lie. The last two box I did was two weeks ago, but the problem with doing a two box, man, uh, the problem with that, dang, that would be a good challenge, though. That would be a shorter one. That would legitimately be a shorter one unless I die halfway through it. Um, Yeah, I only have two more two boxes, Dead of the Night and, and uh, Buried. So if I do Buried today, it's the same thing as Shadows yesterday. I only have one more box roulette and then one more two box if I do one today. And I still have 19 challenges left. Well, 18 after today if I do this one. Uh, I think I'm going to do Buried. I think I am. Yeah, let's do it. I'm not even going to respin the wheel. It's probably it probably give me a reattempt. But you know what? I want to play. I'm actually, you know, yeah, we're going to do that. Buried 2 box challenge. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I haven't played BO2 in... Hasn't it been a week, actually? Since um, Mob of the Dead, was it? When did I play BO2? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, because we just kept going back and forth from BO2 and BO4. So, yeah, it was, it's been nine days since I last played BO2. It was the Mob of the Dead round 50, which went extremely well. So, hopefully today can go good as well. But we will see, dude. We will see. I really, want really, really want to keep a streak going. The goal for this is round 36, depending on what weapons I get. If I get the Ballistic Knife and a War Machine, um, because there's no max ammo rounds in this map, I'll probably go to 31. That's just how it's going to work. No max ammo round. Really, really, it's going to make this a little bit of a difficult challenge. And there are a lot of bad weapons in the box on Buried. I mean a lot. You got the Ballistic Knife. You got the Cap 40. You got the RPG. You got the War Machine. You got the SMR. You got the Barret, which... I wouldn't actually be that mad if I got the Barret. The Barret is better than all the guns I just mentioned, pretty much, I would say. I, I, I don't know. It's close. RPG... And the War Machine can be decent. The SMR isn't horrific when you pap it because it does have a lot of ammo. But I don't know, man. Hopefully, I can get something good here. But yeah, if you don't know how this challenge works, basically, you know, it's in the name. Two box. I hit the box twice. And whatever two weapons I get, I have to keep for the entire game. I cannot use any other weapons. So, and again, like I said, the goal is round 36 for now. But if I fail or if I get some bad weapons, then I'm probably going to have to shift it to 31 because, like I said just because there's no max ammo rounds on this map and also i guess because you know there are so many bad weapons but buried two box challenge yeah this is also hopefully going to be my redemption on buried Enough because today. this is one of the two challenges i have to do on buried because i attempted over a week ago i attempted the pap challenge on this map and completely butchered it completely failed it don't even know if i got halfway through it um yeah, it wasn't too good of a stream, but, but I cannot wait to try that again because this is actually a pretty good map to do the Pap Challenge on. You know what? Let's watch this. I haven't watched this in a while. If I watch it today, though, I'm not watching it anymore for the whole rest of the summer. I don't know that we will, but at least we'll be sure. Sure of what? The BO4 Ether Story cutscene, guys. His memory's going again. 
Your name is Russman. Russ Man. That my first or last name? We don't know. You're just Russman. <laughs> we don't know you're anyway, just Russman. Anyway, you're a former operative from Broken Arrow. You've been walking the earth since the, uh, <clears throat> incident. Yeah. I think I remember. A town. That's right! That's where you found us! The bus. Look at that, dude. Imagine if the bus actually could do something like that. When we met, you already had your lapdog in tow. What do you mean, lapdog, huh? I'm the only one who knows what to do. Don't talk stupid, Stu. All you know is whatever the German tells you to think. I don't think you're in any position to ridicule Mr. Stuhlinger, particularly given your own proclivities. You better watch your mouth before you say something you regret, boy. Enough! Boy, I love the way he says that. We're here. Misty, I don't know if you're going to be able to do much with the Cat 40s there. You run out of ammo after two zombies. Understand? All right, for reasons we don't understand at all. Point is, we do it. We keep moving. We keep fighting. It's what we do. Day in, day out. If you really need a reason why we do this, I'll give you one. We do it because doing something, anything, is better than doing nothing. The rift is less than one day's travel. We move at dawn. What if we don't find answers? It's actually a long cutscene, isn't then it? We'll just have to ask more questions. I guess it is the last cutscene you really see of the Victus crew in the Victus story, so. Oh, oh no, I thought I was Stoolinger. Honestly, though, my favorite character in this is. It's either Mystery or Russman. Probably Russman, just because his quotes are funny, but. Uh, Marlton, one of the most annoying characters of all time, but we'll, uh, I'll see what I can do with him. So, again, uh, all the, the only restrictions I have on myself for this challenge, the only part of the challenge is to just hit the box twice, and, uh, the box is gonna be, I'm able to hit it very, very soon, so probably round three, I'll hit the box, guys, and get my first gun. And then I'd like to get till at least round 15 before I hit the box for the second time, you know, but, uh, Got to make sure I get, you know, I, I conserve my ammo until then. Hopefully I get a good gun. But then again, I should be able to get Galva Knuckles. I really, really want to get Galvas. Galvas are always really, really good to get in a, in a two box just to save ammo on the low rounds, you know. Give you some more points and everything. And Barry's actually going to be a fun map to do this on, I'm hoping, because, I'm assuming, because of the perk system. You can get all the perks on this map pretty easily. Uh, before like round, you know, obviously before round 30, you can get it pretty, get, you can get it done pretty quickly. There's only three bonus perks, and you can get them like what every like two or three rounds or something like that. It's pretty nice. All right, though. So yeah, other than that, just gonna be playing a normal game here of zombies. It's always a really, really chill challenge to do, and hopefully I can beat this today. But again, if I do beat this today, then I'm not gonna be able to do a two box or a box roulette for. I would say at least another week for sure at least another week because I only have one of each left now you know that is if I beat this today of course but all right though uh, I guess I don't have yeah I I was gonna say I should just knife the zombies instead of shooting them but you know what dude screw it I'm already shooting it's not that big of a deal I'm not killing any zombies with this gun plus the challenge hasn't really started yet I like to start it on round three Okay. So, yeah, guys, I... Leave a guess right now. What do you think I'm going to get as my first box hit? Or I guess you could say two guns. What do you think I'm going to get in general today for both my weapons? You know, my combo. I'm going to guess... You know what, dude? I'm going to guess the... Hmm. I'm going to guess the... FAL... The foul? Oh boy, can I even do this? Do I have time to do this? Hopefully I do. Come on, come on, come on. Give me my 2,000 points for this. 2,000. There we go, man. Alright, hit the box. I'm gonna guess the foul and the 5-7 single. The, that's my guess. Actually, no, not the 5-7. The Remington, or no, what is it called? Yeah, the Remington New Model Army, right? Here we go, though. Let's see if my guesses are correct. One of those two weapons. Let's see. Weapon, I didn't get an equipment. 
Dude, come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Do you see what I'm talking about, people? Do you see what I'm speaking about? The guns on this map are useless in the box, man. Ballistic knife, SMR, war machine, RPG, Cap 40, Barrett. The guns are worthless, man. Completely worthless. I can't use this weapon. I can't. And I think I'm dead here. And also, another rule is, yeah, I'm extremely slow with this weapon, but guess what? I can't switch to my M1911 to run faster. That would be cheating. At least the way I, I do this challenge, my rule is you have to use the weapon you get at all times, even just to run with. That would be cheating if I, uh, if I didn't. Alright, though, dude. Yeah, this really, really does suck. Like, <laughs> ah, the war machine, people. The dang war machine. Ah. Well, I guess I can go get Leroy. Yeah, this is... I don't know if I'll be able to do this, man, with without getting my second gun. I really... I think I'm going to need to get my second gun very, very quickly here. Yeah, most likely the goal is going to be 31. Unless I get really, really good luck with the drops later on. But, uh... Okay, Leroy, get out of here quickly. That way I don't get trapped in here with a stupid war machine. This is one of the worst things I could have gotten. This is actually worse to get than the ballistic knife right now. It's better than the ballistic knife overall, but on these low rounds, I'd rather have the ballistic knife. Literally would rather have that. This really, really does suck. Okay, there we go. Leroy, get out of your little cage here. And... I'm gonna need Jug. I'm gonna need Jug very, very early on here. And Galvin Knuckles. Shoot. Why did you have to give me the... Uh, the war machine, man. That really, really... Rains on my parade, doesn't it, dude? Like, that really, really genuinely blows. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Alright, here we go. Let's get the power on. Okay. I gotta use the war machine, and I gotta listen to Marlton the whole time. That is a recipe for disaster, isn't it, dude? But yeah, Barrett is a really chill map. Barrett's definitely grown on me over time. I didn't really like it too much at first, but, uh... You know, I like doing challenges on Barrett. I don't like playing Barry just normally. I, I, I gotta do a challenge from playing this map. It's kind of the same thing with Moon. Um... And Transit, kind of, I suppose. But... I mean, I have to be doing a challenge if I'm playing Moon. I cannot play Moon at all without doing a challenge, hey, man. I just, I, that's why it's my least favorite track map of all time. I just can't do it, man. I like Barrett a lot more than Moon. Okay. Oh, uh, jeez. Why am I so slow with this thing, dude? And, bro, why are they all on the roof? Like, dang it. This is going to be difficult. See, I'm really stressed out right now because I don't want to down and lose a quicker vibe this early on. And if I do, it's because of the war machine. Oh my goodness, why are there... Uh, okay. The war machine non-path is so worthless, though. It just genuinely is. It's easily worse than the SMR non papped And everything. Like, this gun, This is one of the worst weapons of all time non papped Papped, it's actually good. It's actually pretty good papped, not gonna lie. Um, the dystopic demolisher, I think it's called. It blows up on impact. It's got a lot more ammo, more explosion radius. It's it's pretty good non or pretty good papped. But that's the key is I gotta pap it. I gotta get it papped. And now Leroy runs back to his little cage because of the war machine, people. Gotta love the war machine, huh? You gotta love it. Oh my goodness, dude. This is not going. Just give me jug. I just gotta get jug and then gotta get Galvin Knuckles, okay? That's what I have to do. Where's the key? Okay, thankfully the key is in here. This is last zombie as well. Yes, I understand that I cannot have both. Dang it! I really I had to. The key counts as a part, I suppose. Okay, there we go. I got a headshot apparently. There, I got headshot points. Okay, that boo is better stay there. It should. It really, really should. Okay, good. He doesn't have to. I don't have to let him out again with the booze. I don't have to make him charge. Okay, come on, Leroy. Jeez. Oh, this is going to be so stressful until I get Jug, man. Once I get Jug, it won't be as bad, but I... Yeah, okay, Leroy, get Jug open up for me. 
I can't even get it now because he wasted so much time. You know, had to break him out again. Like, bail. Uh, whatever, man. Whatever. I just. <sighs> of course, I got the war machine. Of course, I did. Of course, dude. Of course. And it's not a good idea restarting when you're doing this challenge because it takes away from the whole point of the challenge. The point of the challenge is to just do good and play with whatever you get, no matter what it is. You gotta play with them. I need that nuke. I want the nuke. I need the nuke. Give me the nuke, dude. Yeah, this just that's yeah, that's definitely gonna end the round. I I thought it was already on round five, but apparently not, dude. You kidding me? That's not round. Really? What the heck, dude? Spawning so slow right now, aren't they? Okay, I got jug. That helps me out a lot, though. That really, really is gonna help me and. uh that's gonna that's gonna relieve some of my stress for sure. So I gotta get Galva Knuckles next. All right, this door is free, so I gotta break the door down, and then get Galva Knuckles going. So the booze, you gotta be kidding me! I gotta wait till next round because it's ah, technically I used it this round, dude. That sucks. That genuinely sucks. Alright, though, so yeah, uh, I was not, I mean, I was kind of expecting to get the War Machine because it is so common, especially, especially on this map, it seems like, like, my goodness, but I didn't guess the War Machine, I guess, you know, yeah, the F, the Foul and the 5-7, because that's what I was hoping to get. That's not even what I was hoping to get, obviously getting the Paralyzer and the Mark II would be the best thing to get, but, um, yeah, dude, I was just hoping for the best and didn't happen. All right, though, uh, I better not lock Leroy back up again because if I do, I probably won't have the points to actually find the key again because the key most likely will go somewhere that I can't open up. You know, it's probably going to go somewhere. All right, give me the booze. It's probably going to go into the bank or something like that if it moves again. Yeah, Leroy. Oh, he's going to be following me because I got the booze in my hand now. Dang it. This is going to be an unbearable round, isn't it? If Leroy runs back again... That bounces right at Leroy, too. Of course it does. Of course it... Hey, I got a question for you guys. Why wouldn't it bounce directly at him? Hmm? Why not? Why not have that happen, huh? If I run out of ammo completely, I'll probably have to hit the box again. Especially now. Because I'm going to have to go find the mother effing key. And the key is probably not in here, right? Of course it's not. I got lucky the first time. It's not going to be in the same spot again. Are you kidding me? Huh, just give me points, dude. Just give me points. Give me a max ammo or just something at this point, man. Something I can actually use here, man. Like, this is unbearable. Like, this thing gives me no points, has no ammo, doesn't kill anything. It's easily the worst weapon non-pathed. That I could possibly get today. Like I said, Ballistic Knife would have been better to get. Because at least it can give me points. And at least it's good on a low round. I can move faster with it. Yeah, the War Machine is much better path than on a higher round. But it's trash. It's trash right now. It, it's completely and utterly garbage. Useless. Worthless piece of garbage, dude. Alright, though. Where can the key spawn? Normally, I don't need to uh, find the key. Because usually, I don't shoot Leroy. Usually, I just get... I unlock everything I need with him early on, but where's the key at, dude? Where's this key? I, I should probably knife these guys, though. That way I can actually get some points before they despawn. All right. Good gun, a cab? You know it. Haven't even been here for 20 seconds and already complaining. Okay, what would you do if you got the war machine in a two-box challenge, huh? As your first gun? What would you do? Would you say, oh, it's such a good gun. It's the best gun of all time. I mean, come on, dude. It's the War Machine. You gotta complain about the War Machine when you get it. As your first gun in a two-box on a map without max ammo rounds? I mean... Where's this key at, though? Where is the key? Of course it's up there. I knew it was gonna be up there. I, I, that's why I backed up. I knew it was gonna be there. Gotta make it work? Exactly. That's, uh... It's the point of doing a challenge, but, of course, it's my luck. You know what? Ooh, I forgot that Bowie knife is right there. 
I might buy the Bowie knife, guys. I might. Because I can't get Galvin Uncles now because I bought the door. Got to love that. All right, give me this key. A simple trade, I think. And then I got to get the booze again. Well, I can at least open the dang gunsmith up in a second. All right, though. So hopefully my second gun's good. If not, then I can only go to 31 with these weapons. I, without max ammo rounds, I seriously can only make it to 31. I guarantee you. All right, I though. Think his own fear may have led him to lock himself inside the cell. So, what is he doing now? I'm a little bit confused. Do I have to? Do I have to use booze just to get him out of there? Oh my gosh, dude! You can thank the war machine for this. You can thank the war machine for this, dude. Okay, and I'll probably get Mule Kick today as one of my random perks uh, before I get all seven. And if I do, then obviously I cannot use it. But, yeah, I gotta get this booze again because you can only pick up one part on this map, even though it came out after Mob of the Dead, which lets you pick up all the parts all at once. But, Personally, I do not Zelensky up, for you. Alright, let me, uh, we got two crawlers right here. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to buy Bowie Knife because I didn't get lucky and get a max ammo. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, dude. You're done cowering already. Okay. Ooh, 450 from that. Hold on. Wait, and then don't you... No, you get 1,000 points for each chalk, don't you? You do. See, this is where people... This is where people... When people say buried's easy, this is why. Because you literally can get points and set up wall guns. You get you get a thousand points just for setting up a wall gun wherever you want, pretty much. You know, at, at any of these uh, these question mark locations. So yeah, it's uh, that's what people are saying when it buries easy. But all right, so buried certainly not, certainly not easy though with the uh, with the weapons in the box. I will say that right now. Okay, did the crawler jump up top? No, we did not. All right, we got Galvin Uncles, though. Cannot believe I actually did there, but... Okay. Yeah, I'm... It depends. It all depends on my second weapon is, man, because I could have the War Machine. War Machine, it is the worst thing, like I said, for these low rounds, but like I said, man, it will get a lot better on the higher rounds once it's papped. Much, much better, actually. Just got to get to that point. Papping's really not too difficult on this map. Ooh... It is going to be... I can't go through the witch's house with the war machine, obviously. I'm going to need a second gun before I do that. So, yeah. I'm going to try to get to, like, round 15 before I get my second gun. I think that would be the best thing to do. And hopefully I don't get a cap 40. Because... Or a ballistic knife. Because those would be the worst things I could possibly get. Stamina up is going to help out a ton with this weapon, though, of course. You just are so slow with it. That's a good thing you weren't here a minute ago. Okay, um, I don't really want to go back through there yet. Fear not. I will formulate a plan for my escape. Now, such methods of dispatch are highly effective. Okay, so next up, Leroy's got to open up the graveyard area, the cemetery, whatever you want to call it. And then I can, I should be able to do that this round. Would love to get a max ammo soon, though. I mean, like, what is this? And then you give me a nuke to end the round. Dang it, dude. And then the booze is over here. I hate it when the booze spawns over here. I have to say, I completely hate it because you got to run all the way back here just to check one location, and you know it's there. That's the annoying part is you know it's there after it's not in saloon. You know it's going to be in this one little spot. Perhaps this liquor bottle may be useful. All right. And it's definitely going to be a little bit... Oh, if I don't get monkeys, I can't die today. Because there's no shield on this map. And the jug location is one of the worst jug locations of all time. For sure. It's a terrible, terrible location. I hate that jug location. Just a tight corridor. Another inch to kill before I get a max ammo, huh? Appreciate it. 
But you know what, though? This should be pretty effective. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, though, because I will lose that on a lot of ammo. Since I oh, my god. Every time I shoot this thing, that's going to happen, huh? Every time I shoot this thing? Wow, dude. Just wow. That's all I have to say. Simply wow. Uh, go hide in your little cage, Leroy. You literal coward. But can't really blame him because normally it wouldn't happen if I was just playing this map normally. I would not be using a war machine. Alright, though. So where do you think the key is? Could be in the courthouse. I think it could spawn up here. Um, then it can also be... I don't think it could spawn in this barn. It could spawn in most of these rooms, though. Which is the unfortunate part. Can it be up here, though? Can it be up top right here? I don't think so. But... I can go into the bank right here, and then I know there's a location in here. Or, like, the part building. Yeah, it's right... <laughs> yep, right there. Nice, dude. Good. Obviously, up... Oh, my... Why can't you carry a key and a bottle of booze at the same time, dude? Like, that's just so annoying. Like, oh, my goodness. I'm so glad that's not how zombies actually is. You know? Like... Normal zombies, that's not how zombies is. Carrying one part at a time. Like, it's just so annoying, dude. Gotta run back and forth. Ah, uh, alright, though, dude. I think his own fear may have led him to lock himself inside the cell. Well, you better not be, be afraid of me anymore by the time I get this booze and I return to you there, Leroy. There, Arthur. Okay. Yeah, but I really, really got to see what my second gun is, dude, because it's going to be... Like, if I get something good as my second gun, like Mtar, Galil, I should be able to go to 36, but I just don't know. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be really, really difficult. Simply without having max ammo rounds. That's the key thing. I don't understand why this map doesn't have max ammo rounds. Most BO2 maps don't, if you think about it. Die Rise is technically the only BO2 map to have a max ammo round. Like, obviously not counting, like, the custom games where you put them on town and everything like that. That's, that's not, that doesn't count. So, um, yeah, they're not on transit. There's no dogs or anything on transit. Nothing on Buried, nothing on Mob the Dead. And Origins, I guess, comes close because you can get max ammo from Templars, but that's not exactly the same thing. You know, it's, uh, yeah, it's still a little bit different. Okay, so what I need to do, though, is I need to shoot this. I need to make sure I shoot that and destroy both the fountains. That way I can actually use the fountains for later on. Now, there is not another thing of booze for this round, right? Because I just used it. Pretty positive there's not going to be. Although I could buy it right over here. I could actually buy it for a 1000 Wouldn't be a bad idea, but I'm not going to do it. Let's see. Let's see if I can just look at... Watch the booze spawn in. Probably not, though. I don't know if I've ever seen it spawn in. Oh, no. Right there. Perhaps Beautiful. The bottle may be useful. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't shoot the war machine this round because Leroy will get angry. It's funny how he doesn't get angry when you literally stab him with a knife and blood comes out of him. Or if you hit him with Galva knuckles. You know, brass knuckles. With electricity, it's kind of funny how he doesn't get mad at that. He just runs at you faster, you know, and follows you. <laughs> but yet, when you just shoot him with, like, one bullet, you know, he, uh, he runs away. It's kind of funny. Or if the war machine hits him from across the map, you know. Just a piece of shrapnel, a piece of dust hits him with the war machine. He uh, runs and hides. Right, 10k on the dot. Beautiful. What is that? Max ammo? Nope. Double points. I'll take that, though. Always good to get a double point, especially with a weapon like this. But then again, I do have Galvas, so I don't need the points too badly. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you right now, obviously, I cannot go through the witch's hut. I can't go through the witch's house with the war machine. Uh, especially non pap Maybe papped, but non pap dude... Now, here's the thing. Do I want to activate Perma PhD? Because normally I don't allow myself to use stuff like that, use things like that. 
Uh, but then again, it's a perma perk. We'll see what my second gun is. It de I'll, I'll determine that based on what my second gun is, dude. I'll decide what, uh, depending on what I get. Is, uh, if I get a ballistic knife, dude, <laughs> I'm gonna definitely activate perma PhD. Because I'm gonna need everything I can, everything I can get to be able to actually get to, uh, round 36. Alright, what do I want to open up real, real quick? Um, I guess this. Alright, Leroy, do this quick. That way I can get another booze for this round. Another thing of booze. I might just buy it from the saloon. I might just buy it for 1,000. It's really not expensive. I got a ton of points to spare, so... The booze in here. It might be over in his by his cage, but it's prison himself. Okay, though. Round ten, guys. Round ten. I definitely don't want to hit the box again until I until at least Galvin Knuckles become a two hit, which is round fourteen. There's my max ammo. Took me 10 rounds, but is, isn't that literally the first max ammo I've gotten today, guys? I'm pretty positive it is. I can't remember getting any more. At least since I've gotten the war machine, which is what really counts, you know? Oh, boy. Still not going to use the war machine. I am the sand. Yo, yeah, how you doing today, man? How you doing today? Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have shot those extra four shots. All right, carpenters are gonna make it even harder to get max ammos today. Of course, it's always nice playing the uh, Blundell maps because you don't have carpenters in this game. Did I really just get two carpenters? You're trying to watch the stream, but it's so laggy. Well, let me see. Is that on my end? Hopefully. I mean, it's 720p. My my bit rate is lower, a little bit lower than usual, but it says my stream health is excellent. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I don't think it's my end. If it was, though, it'd pop up right at my screen, and I'd know it immediately. But two max ammo is one round. It's not as laggy anymore. Yeah, I remember when I streamed in 1080p 30. Some of my viewers last year were uh, were saying that it was very laggy because you couldn't. I don't think you could change the quality. I don't know if you could even change the quality uh, in the stream if you're watching it right now. I don't know, but 720p, which is obviously not even classified as high quality anymore, but it's 60 FPS, so it is still very smooth. All right. Yeah, let me go check over here for the booze, and then I gotta open up. The uh, the courthouse or no the church. Is the booze in here. Okay, if it wasn't in here, I was just gonna go buy some. But yeah, if I get something like the paralyzer, dude, that would be. I mean, that would actually be the best thing to get. Cause the Mark II obviously is is better in terms of damage, but. You know, it doesn't have infinite ammo. Paralyzer is good, obviously, till 36. I'm not going to go any further than 36. I'm going to tell you that right now because... Man, like, yeah, Double Tap 2.0 is in this game, but the fact that there's no max ammo rounds on this map and the fact that I got the War Machine as one of my weapons, that uh, that's going to make it really, really difficult. It's just unbelievable how much you get the War Machine in this map, though. Like, I swear you get it way more on this map than, uh, than Transit and Die Rise and everything. And it's not even on. Well, it is on Origins, but it's not even on Mob. So, yeah, I need Leroy to break this next. Because you don't use this. You got it. If that hits Leroy. Okay, I was going to say, dude, that bounced like crazy. My goodness. All right, as my next perk, I think I should get Speed Cola and then Double Tap. Double Tap is going to do nothing for this thing, but hopefully my second gun, it'll actually do something for. And I'm going to get all the perks today anyways, so... You know, get some plain buried. That's what you do on buried. All right, so thankfully, Galvin knuckles exist. They didn't know I would have just bought Bowie knife for sure. Uh, 
This thing is just not good. Nuke? I'm actually going to grab every nuke from now on. Every single nuke. Unless I'm trying to leave a zombie or whatever, I'm definitely grabbing every nuke. I'm going to need the help. See, I'm thinking round 15. I'm going to hit the box again. And that completely end of the round. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Box? <laughs> Come on, man. Give me something good. Give me something good. Uh. I'm still going to keep my guesses the same, though. Uh, another insta-kill, dude. Foul. Foul and 5-7. Foul or 5-7 is what I'm thinking I'm going to get. The FAL or the 5-7. Single. Okay, got two more rounds. Ne uh, next round is the last round I can actually use Galvas for. But yeah, I don't think the Type 25 is on this map, though. Uh, yeah, because I don't recall ever using that thing on this map. And then also, I need to know that, though, for when I do the PAP challenge, of course. Okay, Leroy, you gotta get out of my way, dude. Just walking around. Believe me, I will put Leroy back in his cell once I'm done with him because he just gets in the way. Completely. Gets me stuck on him. Ooh, be careful. I love the, the top hats they got on this map, though. The zombie models are really cool. Alright, Leroy, get ready. Where's the booze? Should be in here. And it's not. Are you kidding me? Ooh, almost just got stuck right there. Good thing there weren't too many zombies. Okay. Yeah, Marlton is going to be a little, just a, just a little bit annoying today. Just a tad bit. All right, though, Leroy. Booze has to be in here. Yep. It's been in here, what, three times? Personally, I do not care for the stuff, but it is not without its uses. Okay. Follow me, bro. Might actually buy Speed Cola here. Uh, just for round 14. Because, yeah, I need to get my second gun before I do the witches, before I go into the witch's house, because I don't really feel like losing all my points. Okay, Leroy. Great. Hopefully this works. It should. There we go. Okay, because, yeah, when I did the PAP challenge, I, it cost me an entire life, cost me an entire... Did, did I have good weapons, too? Because don't you lose your weapon? Or, no, I don't think you lose your weapons when you, uh... But I might have had milk. I can't remember. But, but my first down, when I attempted the PAP challenge on this map last week, week and a half ago or whatever, was falling through the portal from, or falling, yeah, in the fountain, in the hole, the, the fountain, once you blow up the fountain, in the maze... Because I forgot I had to destroy that fountain with Leroy first. Because I hadn't played Buried in over a year. So that's why. That would not have happened if I would have actually practiced Buried. But, yeah, I can't wait to get stamina up, though. You know what, though? It's getting hot. I gotta turn on this little fan. I seriously gotta have some air circulating in here. Especially with my luck. You really expect me to sit here and deal with this with and just... Believe me, dude, where I live right now, it's, I don't even know, what's the temperature today? It's humid, though, because I think it, uh, it was raining last night. 77 says temperatures to drop tomorrow, but humidity is high. Plus, just sitting here playing without a fan in the middle of summer, not too easy. Before you ask, no, I'm shaking. I will not expend a moment's thought of imagining a magic hammer and nails. Alright, yep. Last round, I can really use the Galvan Knuckles. But, they'll come in handy later on as well. But yeah, on Twitter earlier, 
Uh, I guess there's a rumor, or I don't know if it's confirmed or not, but saw a couple people saying that loadouts are returning in BO6. And, <laughs> unfortunately, I mean, I kind of knew this was going to happen. I kind of knew that it was going to be Cold War 2.0, but I'm still holding out hope because gobble gums are coming back, so maybe they won't have the perma upgrades like in Cold War. Maybe they won't let you spawn in with a Bowie knife, but uh, they're still... Like, dude, how are field upgrades going to work alongside gobble gums? Because you know they're going to bring field upgrades back. I will be very genuinely, truly surprised if they don't bring field upgrades back. I really, really will be. But you don't need field upgrades if you have gobble gums. You don't need perma upgrades. You don't need really overpowered perks. You don't need really overpowered guns if you have gums. You know? You just balance it like you balance BO2 and BO3. But, uh, yeah, loadouts returning, man, is a bad, bad thing. I saw the gaming revolution... Uh, he reposted it and just replied L, and I agree. I agree with him. We need more big zombies YouTubers to actually be, uh, be saying stuff like that, you know, be critiquing that, because that is bad for zombies overall. And the only thing I saw people saying to actually, like, in defense of loadouts and zombies is, it's easier for me to grind camos. Dude, if you play zombies to grind camos, you don't play zombies. You don't. If you can't play zombies without just grinding for camos, and Cold War wasn't even a grind. You can't even consider that a grind. It's just earning a camo. That's not even a grind. BO4 Dark Matter is a grind, okay? Dark Ether and Vanguard is a grind because it actually takes a long time. Cold War, the longest thing is ranking up weapons. But after that, dude, the challenges themselves are easy because the game itself is easy, you know? But, uh, yeah, it's, it is what it is, man. I really, really just hope loadouts do not actually return in BO6, but they are. They are. There's really nothing we can do about that. Okay, so I guess I could go... Oh, no, I already just bought that door. So there's really nothing I can do right now besides just try to use the war machine for next round. Try to use the war machine, and then round 15, I'll get my second gun. All right, which... <sighs> Hopefully it's something good, man. Wish me luck. Dude, I need it. Dude, if you didn't see yesterday's video, <laughs> the reason it was three and a half hours, the only reason, is because of my terrible, 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 terrible garbage luck for the first hour of the video. Literally. I didn't get good luck. I didn't get the game started until like an hour and ten minutes at least into the video. You know? At the soonest hour and ten minutes. It was terrible. Like, it was unbearable just restarting over and over, especially on something like Shadows of Evil. But, uh, just, you just got to keep setting up over and over, you know, with the beast mode and everything like that. It's it's not easy. Oh, why do I always go this way? Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Like, this cemetery, I would love to be able to train here, but there's just way too much debris. A cab, what happened yesterday? It was a success. I explained that at the beginning of the stream. Uh, I somehow beat a challenge, but I didn't give up. It was an hour of just restarting at first uh, because I make these challenges extremely, extremely difficult on myself and extremely strict with the rules. And, you know, other people wouldn't have had the problems I did, but I was running out of points. You know, I I love the box roulette, but on certain maps like Zetsubo and Shadows, they're not easy. That is not a challenge. That is not an easy challenge on those maps. Just because it's hard to set up when you're hitting the box every single round, wasting points on it. Plus, you have the max ammo rounds, which waste more points, you know. At least on the early rounds, they do. So, blessing and a curse. I was talking a lot about that yesterday, but it was still fun. It's always a good time playing Shadows of Evil, and it's a pretty good challenge on that map. It's just, with my rules, it's very stressful. But, what isn't? Alright. I can't wait to pass this thing. Believe me, it gets so much better. If you if you use it, you know what I'm talking about. This thing really does get a lot better pathed. Not even being sarcastic. Oh, no. See, that's why I cannot stand when doors take that long to open. Because they shouldn't. They should not take that long to open. Ah, dang it, but playing BO2, that's what happens. 
Better not be anybody up here. Oh, no. Oh, this thing is so slow, man. Holy. How am I not dead? I should be down. Well, the, oh, there goes Leroy. Big surprise there. Surprised he even made it that long without uh, going to cower. War Machine hitting him every time from across the map. Ooh, that was a little bit close. This thing is so bad. Like, oh my goodness, dude. Uh, I really, really want to beat this, though. That way I don't have to uh, redo this thing. It's just going to annoy me. Again, it's not meant to be a stressful challenge. It's really, really not. Okay, now I'm getting the max ammo. Probably won't get any later on when I actually need them, though. But, okay, guys, here we go. Uh, if PhD was a thing, this wouldn't be bad. Uh, it is a thing on this map. There's perma PhD. You can actually get a perma perk for PhD. Oh, my gosh, dude. Didn't think I was in that corner. But, yeah, you can get a perma perk. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet because it depends what my second weapon is. If it's a really good second weapon, then I'm not going to allow it. But if it's bad, then I'm going to allow it because it's part of the map. But, uh, yeah, perma PhD is actually really, really good. You get it by taking fall damage, and you lose it by taking fall damage. I'm pretty sure. I haven't used it in over a year, though. All right. Here we go, guys. What is my second gun going to be? I'm, I'm, like, keeping the guess, I'm keeping my guess the same, the foul or the 5.7. If I do get the time bomb or the monkey bomb, I can hit it again because it, it has to take up a weapon slot. It's not an actual weapon. What is it? Weapon? I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. I just... Oh, I got rid of the war machine, dude. I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? For some reason, I thought I didn't have another gun. Dude. Ah. Okay, here's what I have to do now. This has never happened to me. I'm not focused at all. My mind is just in a different place. Dude, I've never had this happen before. I have to get the war machine back. Please give me the war machine. I can't take anything else. I have to get the war machine back. I'll use the Galil until then. I can't believe I just did that. I cannot believe I just did that, dude. Why did I do that? That's never happened to me before. That is so... I've never seen somebody do that. Now I gotta spin until I get it back. Yep, because that's my weapon. Should I just cycle? I'm not... It's not like I'm gonna use these weapons. I got a lot of points. I might be able to get it here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. I gotta put the box in place. I, I can't... I Believe me, I would love that. I can't. I can't take monkeys. That's a... Oh, I really want monkeys, but I can't take them. I gotta go get... Um, I gotta lock the box in place. I never do this, but I have to because I made that mistake. That was my fault. That was completely... Ah, that was completely my fault, dude. Alright. Where... Oh, I gotta find the dang key again. Are you kidding me right now? Good gun, though? Yeah, this is uh, one of the best things I could have asked for, for sure. Love the Galil. So... I don't think I'm going to get Perma PhD now that I got the Galil, but I just got to get the War Machine back. Where is this key, though? Might be in the courthouse. It's probably in the courthouse, dude. Um, Because can it spawn in here? I don't think it can. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm happy with the Galil, though, for sure. Definitely happy with this thing. But, of course, had to make that dumb mistake. Okay, it's got to be in here, but where does it spawn in here again? Not in this room. It's got to be up top. I like how you can just, like, jump on these tables in here, because you usually can't do that. Oh, no, it's right there. If I must choose, okay, yep, got to get the candy this. in a second. But first, got to get our boy out. This should be the final time I need to get him out today. But, yeah, I'm locking the, blo the, I'm locking the box in place just because that was my mistake. If I wouldn't have gotten rid of the war machine, I wouldn't have to worry about getting a teddy bear anyway. So I'm doing this just so that I can get the war machine back quickly. That way we can actually continue the challenge, dude. I don't need the boots. What am I doing? Okay, though. I guess it got him out of there quicker. Yeah, we gotta go get the candy. Two seconds. You'll be here, but busy. I pre oh, mm, okay. Well, as long as I only use the Galil, it's fine. But... I can't believe I did that. Like, that's... Oh my goodness, dude. But, yeah, obviously, I got to get the War Machine back. I'll just... I can only use the Galil and Galvin Knuckles until then. Where am I going, dude? Like, what am I, I doing? I 
reserve the right to change my mind. Oh, I don't have double tap. Hmm. Gotta get double tap. At least I got speed cola. Okay, well, here's Leroy. Um, I better not accidentally shoot him this round. It would have been a lot better, though, if I would have got monkeys and then the Galil. But, yeah, because think about it. If I down today, what am I supposed to do? You know, <laughs> to get Jug? And Quick Revive's in a horrible location on this map, too. Got to go all the way up through the tunnels to get it. And it's not like I have Paralyzer or anything, you know? But I feel like I can get to 36 with these weapons. But I don't know. It's going to be close, dude. It's going to be close. I could actually camp with the Galil for a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna, though. I am at a loss to I'm gonna grab that because, again, I need to get the War Machine back. I'm gonna have to spend probably a boatload of points. Well, you know what? I should be able to get it pretty quickly because, you know, it is so common on this map. Really need double tap, though. Double tap would make this so much better. 29k... Leroy, I hate how you get in the way and you just follow me the whole time. Another double points. You I really need to get the one machine here, otherwise I might need to pass the Galil, which I really do not want to do this early on. At all. Are you kidding me? That's the last zombie? Dang it! Why is that the last zombie? How did I kill him all? Okay, well he respawned though, right? I think Leroy just saved me. Hopefully. Okay, so he should... Well. That's what happens when you don't play, uh... Buried. And you don't get time to practice off camera. And you don't play it too often. That is exactly what happens, dude. Okay, well. Give me some more then. So. Leroy's going crazy now. Ah, uh, dang it, dude. Luckily, I found out last summer when I did the box report on this map. Leroy, when he kills these zombies, they keep respawning. Okay? So, Leroy, get closer over to the box, man. I gotta wait till he calms down. You know what, though? He's calmed down, right? He's calmed down. Get over here, dude. Get over here. Get right in front of the box. Gotta get him right in front of the box. It should work this time. Yep. Lock it down, dude. Lock it down. So now the box won't move. Again, this is not cheating because it was my fault for getting rid of the war machine. I shouldn't have gotten rid of it in the first place, dude. Box wouldn't have moved. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What a troll. What a troll. Come on, dude. Nobody, I swear to you, I'm like the first person to ever do a two box and half. There we go. See, it's just so common, this thing on this map. It's so common, dude. All right, here's what I, here's what I want to do. I want to go get double tap and go through the maze and get my first random perk. So, Leroy, I think I'm done with you, dude. And my little fan just died because I had it on for three and a half hours yesterday. And, uh, yeah, that's just, that's just what happens, unfortunately, dude. Got to charge it. You know what? I probably should go have it charging right now. Go plug it in. Uh, it's going to really suck doing the rest of this without the fan. Now, I can do it, but it ain't going to be fun. I'm going to be sitting here burning up. Okay. Honestly, though, I think I'm going to go pat the war machine, guys. Because think about it. It's completely and utterly useless right now. It'll probably get me killed more than it'll kill the zombies. It's just not good. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think my perk's gonna be? I'm guessing Vulture Aid, but then again, I got stamina up constantly when I did this last time, when I last played Buried. So... But I'm gonna keep my guess Vulture Aid. If I get Mule Kick, I just can't use it. Yeah, because I already got rid of the M1911. Stamina up again, dude. I cannot believe that. Alright, so here's what I have to do. I have to shoot this and blow this up. How many shots is it? Multiple, okay. I think it's three, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it's going to be three. Yep, there we go. And make sure the portal is down there because last time I just jumped in there and... Ah, it just died. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go pat the war machine, guys. I am. Normally, I don't like to pat when I'm doing this challenge to like 20 or 25 even. But 
you know, it's a different occasion when you get the War Machine. It's just so much better when you pap it. It's just completely useless not papped. Alright. Can already tell Stamina Up is helping out quite a bit with this weapon. Alright guys, let's get the Dystopic Demolisher. So Galil and War Machine. The first gun I ever pack a punch, the Galil. And one of the worst zombies weapons of all time. Very interesting combo, but that's what's so fun about the two box is the different combinations you get, you know. Um, yeah, I love the two box challenge. It's definitely one of my favorites of all time. So yeah, I know Leroy can come in here actually, but... Okay, there we go. So we got double tap, we got stamina up, we got five perks going now, guys. We're doing good now. We're doing good. Honestly, I wonder if I wouldn't have locked the box in place. I wonder if I would have gotten the war machine before Teddy Bear. I don't know. I didn't have to lock the box in place, but then again, I shouldn't have gotten rid of the war machine in the first place. So it's not that big of a deal, dude. It's really not. I would have gotten the war machine back anyways, even if it would have, even if I would have had the box move. All right, though. Can't hit the box anymore for the rest of today, and that's going to be quite difficult because I can't die. I literally, I cannot afford to die because I don't have monkeys. Definitely want that. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I want to use the Galil for a little bit here. I don't want to pat this thing to like 20 or 25, like I said. That's, uh, for a good gun like this, that's a good one. Okay, Leroy, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. That was a mercy, as a mercy shot there. Could have shot you, could have blasted you. But you know what, dude? Just get out of my way. Don't need you anymore. Save this for next round if I can. But there's more than one zombie, which is why you see walkers. So come on. Come on, dude. All right. So I'll try to go to 36 for sure. But, man, is it going to be difficult with these weapons. Like, the Galil is great. Galil is definitely one of the best things I could have gotten. Galil is actually better than the MTAR for sure because it has more ammo. It's better than the FAL as well. It's it's one of the best weapons I could get for sure, besides the Wonder Weapons, you know. But uh, it's still going to be difficult without Max Ammo Round getting to 36. If there were Max Ammo Rounds on this map, then yeah, 36 would for sure be the goal, without any questions. But, uh, you know. Dang it, dude. That spot right there, I always get stuck on that spot. That little overhang, the roof overhang. I hate that spot. Okay, give me the nuke. That was a little bit too close from that liking, dude. Just gotta try to fly through these rounds. We got... Wow, okay. A lot of drops. A lot of drops. All the drops, actually. I need to keep track of the... Uh, the witch's house as well for when the lights up that way i can go get my other perks because yeah vulture aid is going to come in handy vulture aid is actually going to be really good with for the war machine um because i can get ammo for it i can pick up ammo you know normally with vulture aid when you pick up ammo it's only one bullet so like for the galil it's pretty much going to be useless but uh if you're using, like, a, a heavier weapon like this, M1911, Ray Gun, War Machine, Mark II, uh, RPG, stuff like that, you know, if you're using weapons like that that are more powerful per shot, you still pick up one shot with Volturate, and it obviously goes a lot further than one bullet for, you know, a bullet weapon like this. All right, though. Yeah, I don't know if I want to camp today. I think it's just too risky. Like, yeah, it would be fun to do. It would be fun to try. I might try it when I get this thing papped, but I don't know, man. It's very, very risky. And obviously, if I do camp, it would only be in the saloon because there's actually an escape route in the saloon. 
Saloon is literally the exact same thing as Jug, as a Jug camping spot. It's just got an escape route. It's got a way out. It's got an exit. Okay, there we go. Round 19. Just hit an hour of streaming as well. Yeah, I think the goal, though, is going to be 31, guys. I think the goal is going to be 31. If I do get to 31, I'll keep going to 36 and see how far I can go with this ammo. But, man, I'm the thing I'm most nervous about... See, I wouldn't be as nervous, but what I'm nervous about is not having monkeys. You know? I'm telling you, Jug is in a horrid location on this map. Terrible. You know? It's just terrible. It's not a problem on something like Mob the Dead, because Mob the Dead, you have afterlifes every single round to revive yourself, and you have a wonder weapon that distracts zombies, but not even that. The big thing is uh, Jug is in, yeah, it's not in that good of a location on that map, but it's in a better location than it is on this map, for sure. This map is one way in, one way out. It's probably like definitely in like my top three or top five least favorite jug locations of all time i do not like it I, it seems like i die every time i go get jug on this map once i you know besides the first time i get it but once i down dude unless i got monkeys nothing i can really do carpenter yeah getting a lot of drops here which i'm loving but then again that is bo2 for you beautiful round 20 not gonna get the carpenter uh, might start using the war machine pretty soon. But yeah, I'm not gonna activate Perma PhD just because I got a good secondary weapon right here. I don't even know what I'm gonna do if I down though. Like, because it ain't easy to train on this map. And then you don't have a shield. I don't have. Monkeys, obviously, don't have any good wonder weapons. It's not going to be good if I down. Okay, well, that's 30 bullets, so I'm not going to use the Galil anymore. Might need to pap it. Oh, you know what? I should be able to get another perk as well, huh? Should be able to, yep. It's been long enough. Okay, here we go. Papped War Machine, as you can see, it's pretty good. Once we get into the late 20s and 30s and everything like that, it's going to get way, way worse, but much, much better than it was. That's for sure. And it reloads. Wow, I forgot it reloads all your shots at once. Um, can't run with it, though, because I will kill myself. Yes, thank you. Can go a couple extra rounds without getting, uh, without papping the Galil. But then again, no, 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 I'm, I'm still gonna go. I'm still gonna go so I can get my perk. Because if I do down, then I'll be able to actually go get my fifth perk. Basically as soon as I down. Look at that witch up there, dude. Look at that lady up there, dude. Okay, here we go. What is my sixth perk gonna be? Hopefully not Mule Kick. If it's not Mule Kick, then I'm not even going to bother getting my next perk. Uh, unless I, until I down, I guess. Which, like I said, man, this pretty much has to be a flawless game to round 36 for me to feel satisfied. You know, and at least still 31. Because like I said, 31 is the goal just because I didn't get monkeys and there's no max ammo rounds. And because it's buried. The jug location is terrible. All right, one more witch. Why are you taking so long? Literally, why is she taking so long? That's it. That's it. This her? Yep. All right, what do we got? Yes, dude. Okay, beautiful. We got Vulture Aid. I 
So, uh, now, I don't need to get my 7th perk. Because, obviously, Mule Kick is completely useless in a 2-box challenge. Some people try to turn it into a 3-box after a certain amount of time. I mean, you could do that, but, I don't know. It's just not as fun as doing a 2-box. Need to use an extra perk for that, but whatever. Okay. Round 21, guys. Round 21. Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to get Jug? If I down, I'm really, really nervous about that. <clears throat> it ain't gonna go well. That's why getting monkeys is so good when you're doing this challenge, because it's such a rare thing, you know, getting monkeys within two hits. But, uh, man, does it help out a ton. So yeah, you can see the ammo that it's dropping right here. And then obviously all the zombies run from me, so... Yeah, Volt Raid's definitely gonna help out. Ooh, I feel justifiably <coughs> proud of my latest kill. Insta-kill, yes. I'm dead. No, like I'm actually... Maybe not. I got a little boost there. I hate being in this area. The spawns are so unbelievably dangerous here. Like, in theory, you should be able to train here, but you can't because they come from the rooftop, they spawn from the ground, they spawn from everywhere, dude. Everywhere. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to really make use of this nuke because, yeah, round's going to start. <clears throat> Might be able to kill a couple zombies with it, though. I'll still, gra still grab it. Yeah, killed a couple. Okay. Round 22, man. Yeah. Ooh. This ain't going to be easy without monkeys. Gotta play really, really cautiously, and Buried is a difficult map to do that on because it ain't easy to train on this map. It's actually really not easy, and that's why I just died. Yep! So, now, and then you give me a max ammo after I freaking die. Mm-hmm. Lovely stuff, people. Lovely stuff. So, I want to know what I can do here, genuinely. I want to know how I can get Jug on this map, Treyarch. Truly. I, I actually want to know how you can get Jug on Buried without monkeys mid-round like this. I want to know. Because I don't think you can. There's somebody up here. I'm dead. Completely dead. Freaking buried sucks though, man. Buried sucks. This freaking jug location is a joke, dude. It's a joke, is what it is. Literally a joke. This is my chance to get jug, but again, I couldn't have freaking downed earlier in the round, you know? Nope, downed right when the round started. Just give me Jug. Just give me the perk already. Please. Appreciate the second max ammo, though, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness, dude. Gotta go get my stuff back. Again, the Jug location, the revive location on this map, trash. Completely garbage. I think these this map has the worst jug and quick revive location because usually it's only one or the other. Nope. Buried. Both. Terrible. Both terrible locations. You really think you can get either of these perks mid-round without without uh, monkeys? If I wouldn't have gotten that insta-kill, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I don't think I would have, dude. Truly. This may be essential to our survival. I hope this fact is lost on Stillinger. Gosh, dude.
I don't know if I want to go camp. I don't know. I can't get caught, obviously, if I'm camping. But I can get cornered. Man, it's just not easy to train on buried. It's one of the hardest maps to train on. Extremely easy to camp on and get to a high round. Extremely easy. But, when you're actually playing, you know, and moving around, it's unbelievably difficult. I don't know, should I pap? Should I pap and just go start camping? That's the thing though, is camping is not easy without Vulture Aid. Vulture Aid makes camping easier. A lot easier. Saves the ammo and everything. Relatively straightforward. Oh yeah, we got a no nav card part that reason. meteor, that 115 rock, which is on transit as well. Breaking in somewhere. Where is this guy at? <sighs> I don't know if I can do this without monkeys, guys. I really, really don't know. Because here's the thing. I'm going to make the goal 36 for sure if I get monkeys. Because I seriously don't... I got lucky there with those insta-kills. If I wouldn't have got the insta-kills, I... How would I have survived? Without a shield? Without jug? Training on this map? Mid-round? Whole round ahead of me? I don't think I would have been able to do it. I don't think I would have been able to do that. Hmm. I feel like I need monkeys on this map. Again, if I get monkeys, if I actually pick them up and allow this... I don't want the time bomb. Monkeys are way, way better because I can just get Jug. That's all I need is to just get Jug after downing. Um, then, yeah, I'll go to 36 for sure. But... <sighs> it's just not an easy map to do a challenge like this. It's really, really not. Very, very difficult map to do a two box on. I'm gonna come back for the nuke. I don't know what to do. Do I start the round? I think it's better to start the rounds in the main area. By Jug, you know, that main area. I think it's better to do that and then bring all the zombies over here. Dude, come on. Let me go get the nuke. Jeez, dude. They spawn so slow on Buried. Alright, well... Anyone? And then you gotta love BO2. I cannot tell which zombies are alive and which are going to die. Because they don't catch on fire. They spawn in instantly. They look the same. Whether they're nuked or not. Whether they're nuked or new. Is it wrong to hope that Misty may yet come to my rescue? Don't really need the double points, but sure. Yeah, I'm going to need to pat this thing pretty soon. I'm definitely going to pat it by 25, even if I do get another max ammo, because I need it to protect me. Again, Galil is a beast. Galil is an absolute beast of a gun. I know for a fact I'd be able to get to 36 with these weapons if there were max ammo rounds. For sure. But, for some reason, there are not on this map. Okay. That round right there? Yeah, guys. I really don't know if I can do this without monkeys. <sighs> but I don't want to... I don't, I don't want to do this. 
but I also don't want to fail the challenge. I mean, this isn't really cheating because if I do get monkeys, but then again, normally I only allow monkeys within the first two hits, you know? If I just get lucky enough to get them. But yeah, I don't think I can get to 31 or 36 because usually on this map, I always have monkeys because you need it for Jug. You need it. Like, if there was a shield, it'd be a different story, but I'm sorry, I'm taking monkeys. I will, I'll only use them. I, I won't even use them if I run out of ammo. I'll only use them if I down, okay? So we're going to try to go flawless. I mean, flawless starting with this one down, obviously, but still going to try to not down anymore. I just need to have the ability to use monkeys, dude, if I want to actually get to 36, which I would. I want to get to 36 because that is the main... That's the round I go to in BO2 two boxes. That's what I went to on Origins, I'm pretty sure. Mob the Dead. Mob the Dead doesn't have max ammo rounds, you know? And you can get more perks. You can get all the perks on this map. There's more perks on this map than Mob. But again, Mob... And I think I got worse weapons than this on Mob of the Dead 2 box. I'm pretty sure I got a, an S12, which is literally the worst thing I could get. I forgot, forgot the S12. Could have also gotten the S12 today. Imagine if I would have got the S12. But, um... Yeah, dude. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, but I think I got the S12 and the Executioner on Mob of the Dead two years ago. Or did I do it? No, I did it last year, last summer. But, yeah, man. The, uh... Like, if I can get 36 on Mob doing this, I want to get 36 on every BO2 map doing the 2 box. Okay. Let's uh, start it over here. Get most of them to spawn. And then, again, it doesn't really work too well because they spawn so quick on this map. But I got to run with this, so I run quicker. And then I'm definitely going to need a pap this round. Like I said, even if I get a max ammo, I'm probably going to go pap this. Okay, that's the strategy right there. I mean, I got round 50 on this map last summer, so I mean, I should be able to do this. Just get to 36, but... Like I said, man, I played Buried once in the last year. And that was that was on stream. That was the last stream you saw. Alright, definitely not going to hit the box anymore, though, guys. You have my word, I'm not hitting it anymore. Monkeys are just so I can get to round 36, or at least have the chance. Because even with monkeys, I could still completely fail this. You know? Like I said, I'm only going to use them to get Jug after downing. That's it. If I down anymore. Alright. They're still spawning, so I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, is, could the witch's house be, be glowing? Probably not. I think it's too early. It would be glowing, though. I would be able to get another perk if I wouldn't have downed. You know, it definitely would be good by now. Alright, though. Um, how am I going to do this? I don't want to kill all the guys because I need to go, obviously. Pap. Alright, let's go. Let's get this going, dude. Okay, is it uh, glowing? Nope. Figured. I figured. Really, really want stamina up. Uh-oh. Shoot. I'm... R I don't... I'm barely gonna have enough ammo to do this. If I use two shots on each witch, I might be able to get through. But, dang it, this is not gonna be easy with this ammo. Okay, keep going. Okay, just get out of here, because they shouldn't spawn in anymore. Shouldn't spawn in anymore just because I'm not getting an extra perk. Zombies should respawn. Maybe not. There's a witch still after me. I hear the music. Okay, witch. Where's the way? Where's the way? Is this blocked off? Of course it is. Don't want to. Don't want to run into the witch. This is the way it was last time, and it's not. Okay. Changed changed on me dude you gotta be kidding me she still didn't hit me though you know what galvas galvas are oh my dude why does this happen on this map there better not be more than these two witches i'm telling you that right now there better not be wait i'll take it i don't know how i got i don't know how that happened i have no clue how that actually happened dude 
It was not, the windows were not lit up, so I don't know what that was. But I'll take it. I will gladly take Vulture Aid now. Okay, so that zombie is green. Can I go a different way this way, maybe? Like, which way do I go, dude? Oh my goodness. Is it really going to make me start all the way on one of the edges? I hate it when it does this. At this juncture, I should perhaps try with my At this weapon. juncture. Okay, it's right here. It's right here. Good. All right, let's get the lamentation. Lamentation. I think it's lamentation. Um, all right, though. Is it possible that these machines were built by other survivors? I am 100% confident that this upgrade is a significant... Got a little smiley face. I could change that, actually. You can change no the reticles if you double tap in this game, but I probably won't. All right, though. Let's... Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. Shoot. Should not have done that yet. Because I got to find my way to the middle now. Which really shouldn't be too bad, right? And it is. It is. It is bad. Dang it. Come on. Be right around. It should be right around the corner here. Okay, good. Jeez, dude. Holy, is that scary. All right, so both weapons are papped here. Round 25. That's good. Solid round to get to before papping. And got a ton of ammo on this thing. Do I want to camp? Do I want to... I want to try camping. Hmm. I really don't feel comfortable camping. I like camping on this map once you actually get all the buildables. Like you get the uh, subsurface, re subsur subsurface, that's such a hard word to say. Especially fast subsurface resonator though. Uh, that thing is a beast. Power with the turbine. And then the head chopper is also, the head chopper is actually not that good. But... Still helps. Okay. You gotta be careful when they're spawning in. When they're spawning in, I don't really know where... I have to know where to stand when they're spawning in. Which I'm pretty sure... I should go back here. And then try to just kill them back here, maybe. Make sure they're all behind me. Alright, try to kill as many as possible. That way they all spawn right here. Most of them do. Oh, wow. I actually just picked up like 20 bullets, I think, right there. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's about how much. Okay. But like I said, uh, the Vulture Raid, the ammo drops, way, way more effective. Way more useful with a weapon like the War Machine. That's going to come in handy later for sure. Vulture Raid is just such a cool perk. I did actually see earlier... Uh, Treyarch, uh, I was seeing on Twitter that they teased a new perk in BO6 already, which is kind of crazy, because they've been posting a few teasers, it's kind of cool, actually, because uh, the game, you know, is still a decent, you know, it's not too far away, but it's also not that close, a couple months still, so I'm liking the zombies teasers that we're getting, but, um, yeah, I think it's called Melee Mariachi or something like that, I don't know exactly what it is, but, uh, a melee perk so it's gonna be like ethereal razor which kind of makes me believe that if they have a perk that's not like, that's very like niche like that kind of makes me think that it's gonna be like bo4 where you just have a ton of perks and we already know perkaholic is gonna be in the game which it better not be the pre the bo4 perkaholic where you don't get we only get like six perks it better be you know a bo3 version where you get all the perks so yeah, that's what I'm hoping it is, but if they have a, a melee perk, then that makes me think that there's going to be a bunch of perks in the game. But we'll have to see what happens, dude. Alright, where are these last zombies at? Where the heck are they? Vulturate is probably glitching them. Oh, right there. Alright, where's the last guy at? Come on, dude. Come on. But yeah, I gotta play a ton of Fortnite later because yesterday it took me took me way too long to complete the quest. I had to do the 99 eliminations yesterday because I couldn't get a double elimination. I could I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Everybody just kept running away from me in solo with the uh, with the nitro fist. That's literally all that kept happening. I 
brought him down to like literally one shot or two shot two shots away from, from killing him after killing the first guy and then they just fly away with the nitro fist just boost away it's extremely extremely annoying dude unbelievably annoying actually when you're trying to do a challenge like that so yeah it took me way too long played at least an hour of team rumble yesterday and yeah team rumble is just so it's just so boring it's so bad nowadays like it they i think they did that in chapter two it's been like that since like chapter two like late chapter two or something like that where they just ruined it just completely ruined it um by making like you literally can't even go to half of the named locations as soon as the game starts because they're already in the storm and then the storm starts moving before you're even on the ground it's just so bad you spawn in with weapons and like it's just bad it really really is and there's not even that many people playing like there used to be a bunch of tryhards in there because they have skill-based matchmaking most likely in there as well it's just the downfall of team rumble needs to be just studied honestly it needs to be studied you know that meme it really really just needs to be because it's bad nowadays dude if you haven't played it in a long time team rumble was not fun but wait is it, did that did vulture just show me the drop through the wall i didn't know it does that i saw green through the wall and it was right where the max ammo was i think it did dude if it did then that's crazy i did not know that vulture is just like i said man vulture is a lovely lovely perk it's actually, I'm kind of using it right now just to do this. That way I get them spawned in. But that might not be a good idea because they're going to scatter. Like when I'm standing in the green smoke. They don't just group up. They scatter. Um, but still useful, I guess. Alright, and another round complete, guys. Beautiful. On to round 27. Okay, yep, I'm going to 36, though. I'm going to 36. I really, really hope I don't have to use the monkeys. Oh, I need to see when I can get my next perk, though. I can probably get it this round or something. Okay, not yet. Not yet. All right, though. We're getting up there in rounds now, guys. I can't wait to be in the 30s. I think it's a mistake killing them like that. I think I need to just kill them all in a group. Yeah, Buried is not an easy map to train on, guys. It's really, really not. When people think of Buried, they usually think of camping. You know, in the jug spot or saloon. Or with the, head, you know, subsurface resonator, head chopper and all that. Like, it's... You can still train on this map because that's what I did to get to round 50. Actually, I think I camped for a good amount of it. And then I, I uh, trained for the last, like... I don't know, I train once I get like 30 or 35 or something on uh, in the buried 50, round 50 challenge, but yeah, you really can't camp for two. Well, you can camp for a long time on this map if you just keep using the subsurface resonator over and over. That's what most people, I saw Lex, um, a while ago I watched Lex get to round 100 on buried, and I think it took him like eight and a half hours or something like that, which that's probably why I will never, I will most likely never do around 100 on a map like this. You know, I did it on D-Machine, World of War, Shinonuma, and Rev last year. I can't, maybe all the Cold War maps I'll do it on. And maybe BO4 maps, just because they're a little bit quicker. But man, pre-BO3, round 100 is unbelievably difficult. And even a lot of the BO3 maps would take a long time. Like, Gorod and the Giant would take forever. DE wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. And then Shadows, I don't think would be too bad either, but I'm not too sure. Dang it, dude. I don't like being over here. I really don't like being over here. I just don't know where to kill them, really. Like, I'm dead. I think I'm still dead, even though I'm in this building. I think, yep, because they're up on the stairs. Get me out of this area. Holy, dude. My goodness, is this map scary unless you're camping. I definitely need to play more buried. I need to get better at this map. I need to just learn. Because, again, when I did this round 50 challenge, like I said, man, I had a good strategy down. 
And I forgot what I did. Nice, another max ammo. Nuke, awesome. Our collective future is now brighter. If only a little. Nice, that's round. Okay, round 28. Um, yeah, let me try starting the round out in here. Still not lit up. That one up top is lit up. But yeah, I don't think I can actually get my bonus perk yet. I don't know how I got it last time, though, because wasn't it like that last time? I thought all of them had to be lit up to get your bonus perk. Alright, though. I don't know, like, okay, bring him over here. Yeah, I really, really want stamina up. I hope I get stamina up next. I hope I get lucky again and don't get mule kicked. Waste a lot of time if I get mule kick next. I like how I haven't even like used the war machine in a long time. Only probably gonna use it if I run out of ammo in the Galil or I get close to running out because I mean, what's the point? You know, I, I could use it. it. It's still effective, but uh, Galil is just more efficient. Just lining them up and just getting headshots with it. Yeah, is that a good spot to kill them? I don't really know. Dang it. I'm dead. Yep. Oh my goodness. Do I actually get out of this? Okay, I should have died there. I don't know how I didn't. But yeah, I, the reason I died there is because, yep. Again, I don't know where to stand when I kill them. I don't know where to go when I kill them, dude. So they spawn, and I can contain them. Because it's certainly not where I just did it. Yeah, I kind of stood in place with the Vulture Raid for a second there, but that shouldn't... It's not that big of a deal. It shouldn't matter that much. Um, Because, yeah, man, I really, really don't want to down. I don't want to have to use these monkeys. Because I really shouldn't even have them. All right, though. Okay, that is a definitely a better area to kill them in. But, you know, they just spawn so slow on this map. They're still spawning in over here. All right, they'll loop over this way. Fear not. I will formulate a plan for my escape. <laughs> All right. Could I just kill them right when they're in the line like this? Let's try it. Let's try it, dude. Nice, another max ammo. All right. You know what? I think that's the end of the round, isn't it? It's got to be. Unless they're just spawning extremely slowly. Wait, no, I got four bullets from that, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe you do get multiple bullets. Hold on, let's try right here. I think I just got, like, seven right there. So, yeah, you definitely don't just get one bullet. Oh, wait, let me go over here. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure for these things you get one shot, but it's still useful, obviously, because these don't have much, you know, much ammo and many shots, and then uh, they're powerful, though. Powerful weapons. Okay, here we go, guys. Almost to round 37 more rounds to go. Gotta play it safe here. Would love to get an insta-kill this round. That's going to speed things up a ton. I refuse to lie down in the face of adversity. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't like having to go all the way over here to kill them, but... It's a smart thing to do if it's going to be less risky and 
game. There we go. I had a feeling I was going to get an insta kill. BO2, yeah, no, no, no though, for you. The amount of drops you get is amazing. I'm going to stand in here, actually, I think, for this insta kill, because, yeah, I might as well just be invincible and have an insta kill active. I mean, only with Vulturate. Only on Buried can you do this. I guess you could do it with, like, in plain sight or whatever, but it's not the same thing. Try to take out as many as possible like this. I could use the War Machine would also be good on insta kill, but I don't think it'd be as good as this. But I can just spray with this. Another max ammo. Again, normally, if I wanted to use monkeys, I'd throw a monkey right now and then kill the zombies and then get the max ammo just to uh, maximize my equipment and everything and my ammo. But not gonna do that yeah look at that it literally shows you the drop through the walls that is cool i never i don't think i've ever noticed that before that's really really cool actually yeah vulturate just so many things it does you know it's very similar to death perception or i guess death perception is very similar to it all right though get me out of this area it's extremely dangerous the spawn areas in that spot very mischievous. All right, though. Oh yeah, I am kicking names and faking. This is round. Oh no, this. This guy. Nope. Still got some stragglers. Probably some walkers, actually. Yep. Come on, man. Give me to round thirty. All right, that's actually the last guy. That's knife to round 30. There we go. Round 30, guys. Here with the two box on buried. Okay. 12, 30 kills. One down. That down earlier. Very unfortunate, but... As long as it doesn't happen again, it's fine. As long as I don't have to use, use these monkeys. Might actually use the War Machine here, because I do want to use it. I don't know. Might use the Galil for a couple more rounds. Hey, there are other snacks around here, you know? No, I kind of want to use the War Machine. I'll use the War Machine for a little bit, at least for this round. We'll get it going for a bit. Yeah, but this thing is just so much better when you pap it. It's insane. Let's see how good it is, though, right now. How good is it? Ooh, I don't really want to kill him right there. Yeah, see, it's way worse using this thing because I can't kill him as quickly. And uh, plus, I'm going to make crawlers in that corridor if I'm not careful. But, hey, we got a nuke. Try to swing back around and grab that. It's just very dangerous with these spawns coming from the rooftops and everything. If they didn't spawn from the roof, it wouldn't be nearly as bad. But they spawn from the roof and the ground, which makes it extremely... Hard to survive in there, but... Okay. Hour 40 minutes in. Round 30. Definitely a pretty slow map to get to round 30 on. Just because of no max ammo rounds. So that's the thing. But yeah, like I said, I do need to play Fortnite a lot today. Uh, I have, like, yeah, less than 12 hours to do so. Uh, complete all my challenges. But I'm not going to do that this stream. I'm not going to do it at the end of this stream. Because I don't want this stream to be insanely long. Um, I'll just have to play Fortnite later. Alright, let's try the War Machine out again. Try to kill them in here, though. That way, again, I don't have crawlers in that corridor. Yeah, look at how good the War Machine is. Like, knocks off their head. and Like, it's, it's still good. It's pretty effective, dude. I'm telling you, it's good. I don't know if you move quicker with it when you pap it. Like, I know in World at War, that happens with a lot of weapons. Like, the Flamethrower, Panther Trek, you move faster when you pap the weapons. Uh, because these are so slow with them non-papped. But I don't think... I don't know if the War Machine does that. If it does, then it's not too big of a difference. Nah, I feel like you do move a little bit quicker with it. Might be crazy, though. I don't know. Okay. Oh, at the end of this round, yep, I need to go get... Try to get stamina up. Hopefully, I get stamina up. I don't like this flash damage. If I would have gotten Perba PhD, it wouldn't be a problem. But 
Honestly, not getting perma PhD kind of makes up for uh, the fact that I just got monkeys. All right. Oh, there's the headshot from a perk. Okay, how many more zombies have we got? I don't think too many. But I did get a nuke this round, right? Yeah, I think this is where I got a nuke at the beginning. First horde. All the rounds just blending together, man. Just trying to get through these rounds. Okay, there we go. And hopefully... Oh, no, we got more than one. Yeah, I want to leave more than one zombie. That way I don't... The round just doesn't end when I go in the witch's house. All right, though, guys. Here we go. Hopefully... I get lucky and get stamina up again. Okay. Got a lot of points for these witches to steal, so not really too worried about my points. Alright, though. How many more witches we got? I don't need a pap, of course, so I'm just gonna... Actually, I could change my reticle. I might actually go change my reticle. Why not? Switch it up a little bit. Still more witches right here. Alright, here we go, guys. Dang it. Alright, well... That's... Uh, again... Not gonna use that. Not gonna not gonna use my third slot. That's just gonna go to waste. That perk slot right there. That perk. While I usually enjoy puzzles and brain teasers, this seems like an unnecessary. I'll still be able as long as I don't down. I, I'll still be able to get stamina up before the end of this. You know what? Yeah, let's go, Pat. Oh, stamina up! I wish I could get you. All right, here we go. What reticle? Wait. Really? You can't double path this? Just change the reticle? Huh. It's weird. You can double path most of the weapons in this game. Just change the reticle. I am all too aware of the noxious odor emanating from my person. Then again, it probably changes the attachments as well. At, you know, alongside the reticle. Okay, am I going to the middle? I should be right here. Yep, beautiful. Alright, guys. So I'm almost, I'm basically at my original goal right here, round 31. But again, if I were to fail now, I'd have to redo the challenge another day because this is, the goal is round 36 now. Where is this guy at? Right here. All right. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. We are in the 30s. Yeah, but I gotta get a win streak going, like... It's just that difficult. Like, I don't know if it's just I'm playing bad and just without practice. That's probably the main thing. I just don't have time to do long streams. Uh, but it also could just be the fact that these challenges are pretty difficult. Like, they're, uh, they're not too easy. But... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like these challenges might be harder than last year's. Plus, obviously, we have 10 extra ones compared to last summer. Alright. Uh, I think I'll use the War Machine again here. I actually do need a max ammo pretty soon, because... I got, like, half my ammo left, if that, of the Galil, and then... War Machine's gonna run out. Uh-oh. Dang splash damage, dude. Look at them all just dropping down. Like, that's so annoying. What is that? That is a drop? Hey, yes, dude. Okay, beautiful. That's the best thing I can get. Besides the max ammo, that's actually probably better than a max ammo because I'm not completely out yet. And I might be able to get a max ammo from that insta-kill. Alright, dude. Gotta get back there. Gotta get back there. Cannot miss that insta-kill. Can't miss that. Come on, man. I still see it through the wall. Okay. 
double points. All right, come on. Give me max ammo from this. Give me a max ammo. I can still get two more drops this round. Well, they're all going to be spawning over here, which might be a bit of an issue. Gonna loop over here. This is the key, is to loop back over here. And then loop back over by this gunsmith. And then, uh... Oh, no. Not this. Not this. Wait, go up here. Okay, cool. Those guys from the saloon almost just messed me up completely. Alright, yeah, I really do need a max ammo. Hopefully I get one here, because <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Not having max ammo rounds, dude. It makes this a lot harder. And, I mean, I did go to... My, my last two box I did was on Voyage of Despair two weeks ago. And I went to round 41 in that. And, obviously, there's no max ammo rounds on that map either. Another insta-kill. But, of course, you know, not having max ammo rounds... Like, it's a lot easier to get to round 41 on Voyage doing this challenge than it is to get to 36 on this map doing this challenge. Actually, probably 31. Probably 31, dude. Just because, you know, you usually don't get monkeys. I uh, kind of cheated to get monkeys, but just because I just was not confident in my abilities to actually <laughs> get my jug back, get my perks back after downing without monkeys. All right, though. Round 32, guys. Four more rounds. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need a max ammo this round. Because if I don't get one, dude, I don't know what I'm going to do. Hey, there are other like, literally, what could I do? Know. I'll have to just... I'll have to knife. I think this is still the hardest challenge. Like, yeah, Shadows and Vincibo were difficult. But I think this is still the hardest box of let challenge I've ever done. Buried last year. It took me... I mean, you know how I said Lex was like an eight and a half hour game to get to around 100 on this map? What took me to get to around 36? It took me, I think the first stream was like three hours at least, and then, or like two and a half, and then the second stream was five hours. So that's how long it took me to get to around 36 doing the boxer blood on this map. And I had to make the rules easier where I left a zombie at the end of the round and then got my gun, which, you know, I obviously don't normally do that. But, uh, yeah, just because this map is so difficult to do the boxer blood on. Because I did the reason why is because I didn't lock the box in place, you know. Um, I really want to go pick up more of those ammo drops for this, but I can't. I can't do it. Spawns are too deadly. All right, War Machine. I really, really need you to give me a drop. This give me a max ammo. A if we get a max ammo. We should be good to get to to get to round 36. If not, I'm screwed. Okay. Yes, thank you, dude. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Before they all spawn in and get in my way. Holy. They just spawn so quick here. Oh, I'll take that. I will gladly take that. All right, guys. Crisis is averted. We got the max ammo. Beautiful. Okay, go back this way. I can. I'm gonna use. Actually, I might finish the round with the war machine. I might. Uh oh. Okay. We should be good. War machine is a ton of fun to use. Like I said, like war machine is just so bad non-papped, but it improves drastically when you pap it. SMR is kind of the same thing, but the SMR I would say is worse than the war machine papped. It's better non-pad because it can actually get you points and it could it it's more even though it's inaccurate it can it's more accurate than this is obviously the bullets don't bounce everywhere like these grenades do but uh yeah i mean i'd rather i'd take the war machine even the smr any day any day over the s12 and the cap 40 and the ballistic knife you know those are the real worst weapons in this game everyone says smr and war machine and yeah maybe non-pad they're bad but dude i would rather 
I hate the S12 so much because it just doesn't have ammo. If it had, it needs like three times more ammo to even be close to effective in my eyes. This thing has no ammo at all. It gets 10 extra shots when you pap it, like one extra clip. Are you kidding me? Or is it two? It might be two extra clips. It might be two actually. I think it is two. Right? Is it two? Yeah, because you have 10 and then 30 non pats and then you have 10 and 50 papped, I think. So I think you, can do, you get 20 extra shots, I'm pretty sure, with the uh, S12 papped, the synthetic dozen. Still garbage, though. Completely garbage. I suspect we are beyond reaching a peaceful solution. How many more guys are there, dude? <laughs> Alright, walkers, get out of my way. Use this thing. There's no way they're still spawning, right? Okay, yeah, they're done spawning. They're done. Right? Wait, wait, wait. Just saw some spawning. No, they're done for the most part. They're just a couple. I was gonna say, because I gotta nuke this round as well. Wait, is the house? Nope, house isn't good yet. When did I go to the house? It was 30, wasn't it? Aren't there any other angels you can bite? What the heck are you doing, Dobby? This last guy? Yes, it is. Alright, guys. Three rounds to go. Uh, Are they lit up yet? No. Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't change my reticle. I thought you could. I thought you could just go up and just change the reticle. Not obviously change anything else on the gun, but... Apparently you can't with the Galil. Alright. Yeah, two box is not supposed to be an extremely stressful challenge or an extremely long challenge. A lot of people, when they do this challenge, they only go to 30. And, I mean, I was originally going to go to 30, but... Like I said, I think 36 is the best round to go to when doing this challenge in BO2. Even with terrible weapons like this, I feel like it is. But yeah, I'm going to use the Galil for a while now. Because it's quicker, I think. Okay. Obviously would love to get an insta-kill this round. Man, dude, they just spawn so quick. It's insane how quick they spawn right there. Can I just get like nine shots? I think I got nine shots right there. That's good. Like, I didn't think Vulture. Like I said, I thought Vulture only gave you one bullet, but no, that's only for like stuff like the Ray Gun and the Mark II and everything like that. For more powerful weapons, you only get one shot. Speaking, I must concede that the odds are not in my favor. Okay. Mm, we'll switch back and forth maybe from from the weapons here. Each horde. But yeah, I, I really, really for tomorrow's video, for tomorrow's stream, I would love to do a reattempt. I wanted to do one today, but then I got this, and you know, this isn't an extremely stressful or long challenge, so this is a good one to do. Yeah, War Machine's definitely getting worse. Still killing them, but it's taking a lot of shots. This appears to be something of a foregone conclusion. Probably a lot of crawlers. Uh, not really. Not too many. Alright, gotta get the heck out of here before they block me right here. Oh, thank you for the nuke. Beautiful, dude. Saves me a ton of time. Alright. Yeah, but I really, really want to reattempt one of those Vanguard challenges. I can't believe I failed two out of three Vanguard challenges this year. I can't believe that.
But yeah, I really want to get into that Archon boss fight again. Because that was actually, a, it was a pretty cool boss fight. Not going to lie. I kind of, I enjoyed that boss fight. Uh, and I was so close. I think I would have beaten it. And then next time I try it, I'm going to make sure my gun is triple papped. So maxed out on damage. Not going to worry about upgrading my perks as much. And yeah, it should be good after that. You would think. Okay, I need to fire at these guys. Fired wheel. Alright. And that's effect with an E as opposed to affect, as in affectation, something you carry around, Russman. Affectation of bravado. Yes, I see what you're up to. I can only hope that the value of these gifts increases over time. We are almost there, guys. Yeah, I'm not going to feel as guilty about picking up monkeys as long as I don't have to use them today. Nice. Actually, I think that's round. Wait a second, is that round? If that's round, then I want to save that for next round. Yeah, okay, cool. Can use it for a bit of next round. Well, that time I only picked up one shot. One bullet. One bullet pickup, dude. Okay, let's do it. Let's make use of this insta kill. How's my chance to look good in front of Misty? Unfortunately, she's not here. She's here in spirit, though, Marlton. I don't even like staying in this area with an insta-kill active. It's just so dangerous. Like, look at how... Like, look at this. It's just the, the ground spawns. Obviously, the rooftop dropping off. Like, it's just insane. Pure insanity. Okay. That'll work, though. That'll work. I'll use the war machine next. Ooh. I am going to need one more max ammo. This will be enough ammo to finish this round, I think, but not next round. Next round is the last round, though. Formulate a plan for my escape. Okay. can't believe I actually got rid of the war machine earlier. I literally, that ha has never happened to me before in a two box. I've never seen anybody even do that before, I don't think, when doing this challenge. Like, I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I just wasn't paying attention, clearly. Might be because I had my back to the box. Normally when I hit the box when I'm doing this challenge, I look right at the box and look at the gun, but... It's kind of fun to have your back to it. That way, you, you know, you pick up the weapon and you don't see it right away. You just pick it up and you see it in your hands. And that's how you know what weapon you got, you know. But, yeah, apparently I can't do that because I get rid of my first weapon. <laughs> Before you ask, no, my legs aren't shaking. But, as long as it didn't take too long to get it back, you know, it, it's not too big of a deal. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to use the War Machine again here. Save some illegal ammo. Yeah, I, I need another max ammo. Just one more will do it. Oh, man. Shoot, gotta go. Can't pick up any of the drops, any of the ammo drops. All right. Come on, man. Give me a max already. Statistically speaking, I must concede that the odds are not in my favor. Last max I got on... Uh, last max I... Uh, uh, can't speak, dude. Last max ammo I got was on 32. Well, then I'm pretty sure it was. So, I should get one very soon. If it was actually 32, but I'm pretty sure it was. Pretty positive. Dang it. And then, why do they jump up on the roof? I don't get... Ah, uh, it's so dang annoying. So annoying over here. It's a cool area, but you can't do anything here. You can't survive here. You really just can't. 
Thank you. I went back and picked up ammo, but luckily we got the big ammo drop. Not the little ones from Volterade. We got the big one, guys. Beautiful. We're set. We're set for ammo. We are good with ammo, guys. I suspect we are beyond reaching a peaceful solution. All right. Hopefully not too much longer this round, and then we can just crank out next round. Hopefully I do not die. I have to throw a monkey, because if I die, I'm definitely going to be using monkeys. At least one, just to get Jug. I'll probably only use one. I probably won't try to get Quick Revive. Uh, but... Still spawning? Really? Really, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Out of the way, zombies. Crawlers can kind of get in the way. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're done spawning now. I don't hear them. I don't see them. I think this is the last group. Last bit of zombies. Yep. Shoot, I forgot about the perk. Dang it, it is active. I knew it was going to be. Shoot. Hmm. I want my perk, guys. I, I, this is a bad idea, I feel like. I feel like this is a really, really bad idea. You know what, though? It won't be that bad of an idea, I think, as long, because obviously they can't get me when the witches are here, so. As long as I bring the witches far out into the middle of the maze and then collect my perk there, then as soon as I kill the witch, I could basically just jump into the portal. But yeah, I really, really want stamina up. So yeah, let me try to get... Oh, middle is right there. The middle of the maze. Beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect, actually. Okay. Yeah, Barrett is just such a unique map. It really, really is. Very, very cool map. I just wish there were max ammo rounds. On okay, it's glitched. Yep, it did this glitch. Why does it do this? I don't understand. This hasn't happened to me in definitely over a year, but why do they do this? Like, wasting a lot of ammo on the final round. Where the heck are you at? Still multiple? Thank you. Alright, we're good, guys. Stamina up. Zombies are spawning in. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Let's get back to the map and, uh... Holy, guys. Okay. Gonna be close to 2,000 kills by the end of this, but not quite gonna get there. Alright, gotta survive this round. Stamina up helps out. Holy stamina up. When you play for a long time without stamina up and then you just get it, it makes such a difference. You can really tell. Alright, though. I'm gonna bring them all the way back in there in a second. Perhaps I am secreting some, some of them spawning the over here. All right, let's go. Um, should I use the war machine here? I think I will for a little bit. Again, dude, the war machine. Yeah, look at this. It's really not even killing them anymore, huh? Dang. It's not that effective anymore, man. It's not that good. Chop Bong Bing Chop B X N G. I don't know how to pronounce the, the second half of your name, man, but let's go. Yeah, I agree, man. This is the final round before I beat the challenge. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Horses can and will bite if provoked. Okay. Kinda killed them in the wrong spot right there, but hopefully it's not that big of an issue. As long as I kill them right over here. Oh, dang it, they're spawning here, though. Shouldn't be many spawning, though, right? Should be mostly all behind me. Yeah, I don't even really think I can use the war machine anymore. Like, I'm gonna try one more time here against these zombies. I just wanna see if it's still even somewhat effective. Like, oh my gosh. The dang stunning effect. 
I'm not even worried about the damage this thing does to me. I'm worried about the stun. The stun is what annoys me. Where it slows you down and it impairs your vision or whatever, disorients you. I hate that. That's the thing I don't like. Wait, is that a drop? That's a drop, isn't it, dude? That's a drop. It might be just something at double points or something like that. It might be. Gotta at least go check. Mmm, okay. Come on. Let me through. Let me through. There it is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> double, double points, man. Uh, it's always funny when you get a drop side by side like that. It doesn't happen very often, but it happens more in BO2 than any other game I notice because there's just so many power ups in this game. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really like this war machine anymore. Like, why do they jump onto that rooftop is what I want to know. It's very, very annoying. They're trying to train here. If I get an insta-kill this round, we will be set. Insta-kill or a nuke. Even if I don't, though, I mean, I should have enough ammo. Just barely enough to finish it. Yeah, but this is the strat right here, though. It's a little bit slower than I would like, but it's safe. Because they barely ever spawn in when I'm over in this area. And to be honest, it is. I'd rather have them spawn here than in the uh, in the main area my, where the box is. Because, again, the spawns there. I mean, you can see they're just savage is what they are. Completely savage. All right, though. Try the war machine out a little bit more here. Just a little bit. Just to save Galil ammo. Yeah, that stunning effect really, really annoys me. Holy. I didn't get a drop, right? Nope. Okay. Got three more clips, or whatever you want to call them. In the war machine. We are almost there, guys. Come on, I really would hate if I downed right now, because clearly I can do this without using these monkeys. Clearly. Haven't downed since, what, like round, tw what was it, round 22 or something like that, I think? Something like that. Early 20s. Uh, but yeah, we're doing good now, man. We are doing good. They're definitely going to be still spawning out to this, so I got to be really careful. Get the heck out of here. Ooh, this corridor. Luckily, it's not too thin, too narrow. All right, though, guys. I'm about to hit 200k points. Almost two hours and ten minutes into the stream. Are we still working as a team? Albeit a reluctant and unlikely one. I'm gonna use the Galil again right here. Oh, we got a drop. Yes, a nuke, dude. Yep, still spawning. Give me that. Give me the beautiful, beautiful nuke. I don't think that's going to end round. I think they're, yeah, they're still going to be spawning a little bit. But that'll be, that'll bring us close to the end of the round. For sure. Probably one more horde, I'm hoping. Actually. Wait. No. We don't even have a, this isn't even a full horde. I wouldn't even consider this a full horde. This is a little squadron. There's like a Fortnite squad of players, dude. There we go. Beautiful, guys. Round 36. I'm really glad I went the rest of that game flawless after the first down. The first down, man, you got to understand the reason I got monkeys is simply because of this jug location. Like, you cannot survive with these weapons. If you have the paralyzer, maybe I'd be able to, you know, fly out of there, you know, into the buildings up above. I maybe I'd be able to. Photo got the paralyzer, but nope. I got the War Machine and the Galil, which I'm actually happy with this combo. You know, I got a really bad non-upgraded gun that turns into a pretty good upgraded gun, and then I got a, just a really good gun overall. So that's not a bad combo. Could have been way worse. Think about it, man. After I got the War Machine, like I said, the SMR is on this map, the Barrett, the Cat 40, the Ballistic Knife, the RPG. Imagine if I would have got the RPG along with the with the uh, War Machine. That would have been terrible. That would have been legitimately terrible. I definitely would have gotten from PhD if that would have happened. But yeah, guys, we did it. We did it. Round 36 here on Barry with the two-box challenge. Didn't have to use the monkeys. Accidentally got rid of my weapon. <laughs> but luckily, I was able to get it back. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I'm not playing anymore. <laughs>
Oh, dude, I hate that. I hate it. That happened earlier, too. Getting a max ammo after you down. Because, yeah, as you can see, you don't get the ammo. The ammo doesn't go to your guns. It just, it really sucks. Goes to your Mustang and Sally when you're on the ground for, 20, for 10 seconds or whatever, but that's it. But, yeah, guys, that is it. Over 200k points, 1,800 kills, and one actual down. But, um, yeah, definitely a good game, guys. Definitely. Yeah, like, let's see. Let's see if I'd actually be able to get Jug mid-round like this, guys. Let's see. You know I'm not going to be able to. I'm literally just going over here. And look at how slow I am without stamina. up. Like, look at this. Maybe you actually can. Maybe I... <laughs> see, that is why I need to play Buried more. Because literally, all I needed to do was just bring the zombies all the way from Saloon and just haul it over here. And then I can get Jug. Well, didn't even need monkeys, so good thing I didn't use them today. <laughs> didn't even need them, so I kind of cheated getting monkeys, but hey, I didn't use them, so at the same time, I didn't really cheat, so um, um, yeah, that was a good game, though, guys. Good game, so that means that we only have one more two-box challenge to do this entire summer, which is on Dead of the Night. That's going to be a very, very interesting one uh, because of the silver bullets. There's no max ammo rounds on that map, yeah, but the silver bullets basically give me max ammo. Like, I, I have infinite ammo on that map because of the silver bullets. So, even with a helium salvo, I'll have infinite ammo. But, uh, yeah, I hit the box way more than twice today, but it was a bit of a weird two box. But, hey, I just wanted to beat it. It's not meant to be an extremely stressful or difficult challenge. Uh, but, yeah, we got it done, guys. We got it done. I'm not going to let them take me out. I'm going to take myself out, right by Leroy, with the War Machine. There we go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to end it, dude. What a way to end it. Um, go out with a bang. Huh? So, yeah, I will be playing Buried one more time still this summer because I failed the PAP challenge the first time around a week ago or, yeah, not 10 days ago, I guess. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to do the PAP challenge again where I got to PAP every gun on Buried in one game because it was pretty fun the first time around. But, yeah, guys, I highly recommend you check out yesterday's video. It was another success. And the beginning of my streak of successes this is uh hopefully i actually can get a streak going dude because usually this summer i only beat like one or two or three max challenges in a row and then i just fail like it's very rare that i beat more than three challenges in a row which really really does suck but yeah let me go and mark this challenge off it is done so yeah i don't want to do a two box or a box roulette for a while now guys for a long time for at least another week week and a half or something because we only have Drys and Drac Box Roulette and Death of Night 2 Box. So, uh, I'm going to go on my phone real quick and delete this from the wheel. Um, and, got a comment on which video. Which video did I get a comment on? The newest one? Probably not the newest one. Oh, yeah, it is the newest one. Shadows video. Okay. So, um, yeah, guys, but I'm happy we... We beat another challenge. I really, really want to do a reattempt tomorrow, though. I'd love to do Archon. I mean, any either of the Vanguard challenges. I'd love to reattempt Death of Night and actually do it this time. You know, actually start the dang Easter egg now that I have some practice on the map. Uh, what else would be good? Space Land Pap Challenge is going to take like five hours, so I don't want to do that one. Definitely can't do that one tomorrow. Uh, wouldn't mind doing a Pap Challenge tomorrow, but probably won't do Buried two days in a row. So if I do get Buried Pap Challenge, I probably will spin the wheel because I don't like doing the same map twice in a row. Uh, the only day, I, the only time I did that is with Ancient Evil. I failed the Snipers only, and then I beat the Easter Egg the next day. That's the only reason, though. That's the only way. That's the only. It's the only time I like doing a challenge. You're the same map, I guess, two days in a row. But a cab, nice. Yep, we beat it, guys. We beat it. Round 36 on Buried with the two box with the Galil and a War Machine. It looked bad at first, and after I had that first down, it looked bad, but we got it in the end. So, uh, let me delete it off my phone. All right, guys, so 18 challenges to go. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping I can get all these challenges done before the end of August, but we should be able to. But, yeah, again, I got to play Fortnite later today. Let me just show you real quick what my progress is. Won't take too long to load. Um, geez, dude, this game is just so much more colorful, like, instantly, just saturation and just the color just vibrant it's just insane so yeah i gotta complete this in it's 5 23 right now so i gotta until 4 a.m is when the challenges get deleted or just get removed from the game vaulted whatever you want to call them and then obviously you can't do them anymore you can't earn the rewards the pirates mini pass so by the time you get this video on youtube though it'll already be gone long gone so unless i can edit this tonight which i should be able to actually should go up at the normal time tomorrow all right though but yeah, yesterday, like I said, dude, it took me such a long time to get the 
99 kills because I still haven't gotten a double elimination because everyone just runs from me. Everyone just flies away. And in Team Rumble, you would think Team Rumble would be easier to actually get a double kill, but no. You don't have any shield in that mode because of the way they designed it. Or the way, the, the, way, the way it is nowadays compared to what it used to be years ago when they first introduced it. And, uh, yeah, it's just extremely, extremely annoying. Tryhards in there. Very, very annoying. Let me turn down the game audio because it's probably very loud for you guys. All right, though, here we go. So, um, yeah, look at this. Ten hours, ten and a half hours I have to get all these done. I've done four out of the eight things for the map, for the Pirate's Code. And then, yeah, I need to complete a stupid amount of challenges for this. <laughs> Holy, I'm like halfway there, though. Halfway, roughly. Um, yeah, it's going to be rough, though, considering it took me like an hour, hour and a half just to do one of the Pirate Codes yesterday. Gonna have to do it. Gonna have to get it done, man. As you can see, these are the ones I've completed right now. Somehow, I did get a crown victory rally yesterday, but uh, I, cause I picked up a crown from a player I killed. But like, hit a player with a coconut sounds easy, but it might be a little bit difficult. I've seen people complain about that on Reddit, but we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, I don't know if Team Rumble counts as a, as a victory rally for this. Hopefully it does, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. I could play Fortnite right now on stream, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna... I haven't even eaten anything yet today. Well, I've eaten the banana, I guess, so I'm gonna go eat. This music is so annoying. Hold on, I gotta get off this. I gotta change the music. I'm changing it, definitely. Get this music out of here. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm changing it when I play later, but yeah, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back again tomorrow for another zombie stream. Hopefully it's a reattempt. I really, really want to reattempt something and get redemption, but... Um, yeah, preferably on an Easter egg, because I failed three Easter eggs right now. That would be the best thing to do, I feel like. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day, guys, and peace out.